Here's what I don't get. Why go through all the trouble of creating a fake persona when you're just gonna be on your laptop all night? Right. Does the Cedric have Wi-Fi? Yeah, that's about all it has. Computer science major? Hours on her laptop? She's a hacker, which is why she was staying at the Cedric. She could pay in cash and remain anonymous while she was using the IP address. Exactly. And whatever she was hacking into was either so legal or so dangerous, she had to make sure they couldn't trace it back to her. And even if they did trace it back to her, they'd still have to find her amongst hundreds of residents. So she created a whole false persona. And who's going to look twice at a runaway hooker? I mean, she's like the girl with the dragon tattoo. Only they did find her, which is why we can't find her laptop. Whoever she went up against killed her and took it. A uh, problem. We don't know who she went up against, and none of her friends seem to know either. Okay, contact the Cedric's internet provider and get a list of all the IP addresses accessed by residents over the past two weeks. There's got to be an answer somewhere. She can give us some answers. Where do we find her? Uh, Mount Hope Cemetery in Westchester. She was killed last summer in a car crash. What were the circumstances? Well, there were no witnesses, but according to the police reports, she was driving home from the firm's summer party. She lost control and crashed into a tree. Autopsy indicates that she was intoxicated at the time, but Erica never believed the official account. Any reason why? Well, she believed that Pam would never drive drunk, and when they found Pam, she was wearing high heels, and Erica said she never drove in heels. Three deaths, all leading back to the law firm of Banks and Bauer. Is it just me or is this starting to smell like a John Grisham novel? A single car accident with no witnesses? Guys, this is a classic conspiracy cover-up. Though only a lowly intern, Pam stumbles onto something that the firm is doing. Something big, nefarious. She has to be silenced only after the accident. Blaylock can't take the guilt or admit the truth. So his only bastion is to escape into the sweet oblivion of drugs. And then when Erica starts coming around, they realize that they're going to have to act by eliminating them both. But what are they covering up? Whatever it is, the only possible evidence is on Erica's laptop, which our killer took. Yeah. Wait, are we sure about that? Erica was meeting Blaylock on the roof, right? A guy who, according to the email, she didn't know very well. If I'm Erica, I'm hiding that laptop. Well, we searched her room. It wasn't there. Wait, do you guys remember the footage from the elevator? Yes. She went down to the laundry room first. And Lainey said that she found traces of creosote under her fingernails from the boiler room next door. The, the laptop's, laptop's in the basement. basement. 